This is a preview clip from the Full and Bloom interview with icon guitarist Dan Wexler. The full-length interview will debut on July 17, 2020. Get notified when it's up by subscribing to our channel. Essentially, in school, was, that was icon. Schoolboys was that version of what everybody knows to be icon now. And Mike Varney called me up. I was working at the guitar shop, music store in Scottsdale. And he calls me up and he goes, hey, a guy named Jim McMillan, a really great guitar player in your town, told me that you guys are a really good band. And he sent me your record. You know, and so I'm left to listen to this guy tell me this. And I don't even know who he is. He goes, go pick up a guitar player magazine. Look at Spotlight. I'm the bald guy in there that fucking, uh, that does it, you know, that does this. Uh, I write about all these upcoming bands. I want to record your band. And I'm like, sounds great. Well, I make records for five thousand dollars. I said, you're dreaming. It can't be done. <laughs> We're slow in the studio. Just ain't gonna happen. And he's like, well, how much do you think? I said, I have no idea. I just know that five thousand dollars isn't enough. Not to tour the band up to San Francisco and go and record it at your studio, which he was offering us for a, a cost. So he goes, well, how much do you think? I said, I have no idea. So fast forward five phone conversations. He goes, tell you what, whatever you get, I'll match you. You get your money, bring it up here. Load up your gear. I'll match whatever you get. So we put up our gear for collateral. John Aquilino knew some guys that were uh, certified licensed underwriters in the insurance business. They offered to loan us money. We put up our equipment as collateral, our PA and lights and all that business. And we borrowed $10,000. And he says, okay, 20 grand, we can make a record. And that's what I thought. And we, we were right. And so we spent May, June, July, and August in you know Northern California. Recording to so it was in Katati, which was around the bottom of California. The and, Prairie uh, Sun Studios, right? Michael, yeah, yeah, that's Prairie Sun Studios. And and Barney is genius. He brought to the table what he offered, or and I've worked with other producers subsequently and, and know who's who. Barney, he did everything he said he was going to do, including what we signed a deal with him because he said, I will personally march you into four to five companies with your finished thing and we can get a deal. I will make sure that it happens. If it's doable. I know the people, these are not in our assistance. They are the top guys, did, you know, four companies to five companies. I know them. I can walk in and do this. I said, sounds great. So if we didn't get a deal, we'd come out on shrapnel and he would get to recoup his money first, which is just the way the record industry is, <laughs> but that's okay. I, we agreed to do this. And so we loaded up the truck, moved to Beverly, spent the summer up there recording nonstop. Two.